Hello, I cannot even believe the words. I'm, I'm truly, sh I'm stunned at the words I'm about to say to you. The co-executive producer, the co-showrunner, the director, the writer of FX's The Bear. 25 pounds? No, 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 I ordered 200. You cut vegetables like a bitch. Saw my vlog at Mr. Beef, enjoyed it, said a bunch of the crew even saw my videos during production, and then he donated for me to go get Superdog today. What? Um, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Let's give it up today for the legend, Mr. Christopher Storer. <laughs> Extra pep in my step today. Yo, dude, thanks for watching The Bear. Saw a couple of your vids while we were shooting. Really enjoyed. You already hit Mr. Beef, so go grab some Super Dog on me. Thanks again, Chris. Just a Ven... Bring, just literally popped up on my Venmo, and I was like, what? <laughs> that was bad acting of me hyperventilating, looking at my phone, going, Christopher's store. It can't be the... And much like the bear is chock full of a cast of characters, so is this vlog. So today, I'm gonna pick up my restaurant industry leading friend, Michael S. You know him well. He's in that grind every single day. Front of house, back of house, he does it all. So we're gonna go up to Superdog together, enjoy some dogs, and talk restaurants. And the bear. And why you should never put ketchup on a hot dog. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you know, there's a golden rule. And then there's the no ketchup rule. Sean, I didn't get the script for this one. <laughs> Was you didn't, you didn't regular, get your dailies? Regular intro or what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were supposed to send you your dailies. <laughs> What's up, brother? Damn, you're really like well coordinated today. How are you? It's great to see you. Yeah. Damn, those shoes are sick. This guy is swagging out. I mean, I didn't really expect. Well, the Michigan State thing really helps too. See but. That? Oh my God, number eight. W <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I got some of your merch. Hey, why is that so nice? Number eight with milkshakes. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's the hat. Oh my god. Have you ever done like a, a name for this channel? Like the people that watch it? Like you know you have, Yeah, I know you what have, you mean. No, no, no. You have uh, Sixers for number eight with milkshakes. <laughs> um, That's not the name. That's not the name. <laughs> Do anything for a bit. Oh my, dude. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have another show called Number Six with Cheese. Oh my god. Oh my, I will. Oh my god. I have, I'm blown away by how nice this hat is. This I is have, nicer than some of the merch I sell. I found uh, a website that I can create any type of hat I want and it's <laughs> ruining my bank account. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's great, right? That is so funny. Super dog. <laughs> Super dog. It's like Sonic Drive-In style. That was sweet. John's looking at the car next to him, filming them, it's weird. No, it's just the menu. <laughs> okay, so I've been here one other time in my life. I had the Whoopski dog, which is like the Holy Romanian, Hungarian, Polish sausage. So I'm gonna go straight up OG super dog with fries. Mm. And a pap. And a pap. 725, what are you gonna get? I think I gotta get the super dog too. Yeah, we can do a pair of dogs. Yeah, I'll take a Dr. Pepper. That's what I'm gonna get, okay. I feel like I gotta get a shirt. They have Maybe shirts. I, you should get a hat. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get you guys in here for the real deal. You press the button. The hell's a diced ice cream cone? They're squares. They're squares. They're squares. They're squares. <laughs> those are like those wafer cookies, huh? It's not a wiener. It's not a frankfurter. It's not a red hot. It's the exclusive super dog. Not a wiener. Not a red hot. Not a frankfurter. There's super dogs out there. Also, Chris is awesome because he is like such a homer for Chicago. So the fact that he like saw this video about Mr. Beef and then was like, now go to another institution and make a video. I love that. He's from Chicago, from yeah. Park Ridge? I think so. Places like this make me feel good about America. Like that this still exists and is thriving. This parking lot is full. Big box of mixed battered veggies. I love when people describe something as zesty. I don't. <laughs> Hi, thanks for stopping. Can I take your order, please? Yeah, can we do two super dog combos with Dr. Peppers? Sure. Super dog, did you want everything with pepper? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, and what size for the drink? Can we do large? Of course. And then can I do one medium logo sweatshirt? Okay, would you like any ketchup, salt, or napkins in the bag? 
Yeah, we'll get all of that. That'd be great. All right, we're gonna have it out to you as soon as it's ready. Thank you. Thank you. So excited. So real quick, I just, Christopher, if you're watching this video, thank you again. I wanna see say why I've known about you for years and people watching this video know my obsession, my favorite comedian ever, Bo Burnham. I think one of the best writers of our generation of comedy, uh, the quickest mind. I've been obsessed with his specials since I was young and Christopher produced two of those, both what and make happy. He's done so much stuff. He also directs Dickinson, starring Haley Steinfeld, the Emily Dickinson show. He directs and EPs on Rami, Hassan Minaj's Homecoming King special, executive produced Gerard Carmichael special, Chris Rock. So when I saw this Venmo come in, I was like, cool. Somebody besides my mom digs what I do. <laughs> uh, when you showed it to me, I was like, oh, that seems like it's gonna be a big one. Michael was the first person I like screen grab and sent that to. So also, just a random question as we wait for the food. How true to life are some of those bear scenes like in the restaurant industry? I think they do a very good job of the things that happen. Like anything can happen at a drop of a like a sudden a hat. change. Yeah. Like something breaks, something goes like you can't use it for the rest of the day. You gotta call someone out to fix it. Online it's orders it. just being nuts. Online orders like never stop. Even if you try to stop it, they still keep coming through. Like it there's no there's no break. But yeah, they do they did a really good job. I had anxiety watching like the first couple of episodes. Just yeah. like And like, you know that yeah, world. It's like yeah. I'm in that. And there's always like the the random person that's like not doing their job but they're doing their job. <laughs> like That'd like, be me. <laughs> yeah. So all the nuances and everything, it, it was a, it's a great show. I loved it. And from my like performer side, like the, the way it was shot and the way it was acted and like the way they just like put all that together, I was blown away by the cinematography, how quick it was. You can't look away. Uh, it was just great. And then also for those of you who are maybe new to the channel, Michael works at a restaurant downtown. He's a manager, so he's like in that world every single day. So we got him for a day off. I'm surprised he's not just a shell of a human right now. <laughs> you should see Michael after some of these shifts, dude. It looks like he was literally beat with a baseball bat. Like it's nuts. It, it, it happens like that. It's you know? fun seeing you struggle. It's it's the, the fun thing about my job and where I work is that it's an atmosphere that is not toxic or like, yeah. like being in that kind of Mentally draining. It's more so just it's energy draining. It's yeah. Not so much your, your brain is going. Shh. How's it going? Uh, How's your day? So far, okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god! Thank you so much. I'm so excited. It is forty three seventy six. Cool. Tip or no tip on the card? Yeah, you can do twenty percent. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Buying a sweatshirt on an 80 degree day. Yeah, I'm really prepping for the fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the fall yet. Yeah, I probably shouldn't either. Any day now would be good. <laughs> She's contacting my bank and going, this guy doesn't have $40. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this isn't a real bank you're trying to contact. <laughs> it declined it. It didn't decline it because of you. It declined it because it timed out. That makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you have money. Sean, you have you have at least $100. <laughs> so you're 24 cents short. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> might be true. There was a time in my life where it might have been declined. <laughs> There's probably a time in everybody's life when their might have debt might have been true. Yeah. You know? There you go. Thank Ooh, you so give much. Give you a receipt. Yeah, just perfect. In case. Yeah. Great. There Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. That was the best interaction I've she had. She is now number three on she the She just power she rankings. jumped you with ease. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way she did it. I'm gonna put it on right now. I I was gonna put it on, but she made a good point. It's, it's really warm. Really warm out. I'm just oh, it's got that new sweatshirt smell. It always kind of smells like a weird mustard to me before you wash your clothes. It's probably where they keep it. This it's is gorgeous. Dry goods. Chris, this is all because of you. Thanks for the swag, dude. Look <laughs> at that branding. Damn. Nobody needs that many napkins. I do. Always. No one needs this many napkins. Red gold. Yeah, they got the red gold ketchup. That's ketchup. Oh, let's go to ketchup for the cause. You guys get down with red gold? What's your go-to catsup? These are for the fries, not the dogs. I also don't care what you do. You're like an adult. Like if you want to put ketchup on a hot dog like a child, go for it. I don't care. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'll make fun of you because of the taste combo's dumb. Not because of like Chicago being like, oh, you know. No, do whatever you want. Just it's weird to me to put corn syrup on your hot dog. All right, so here's what this looks like. You got this little like vehicle basically where it's gonna have the dog and the fries in it. It's a nice little container to eat in. It's gorgeous and this is a flagship part of the restaurant. I'm gonna do a, uh, an unboxing. Pink Panther every time. Oh, not so easy, is it? That's just like this Wow. Thing. 
Those are uh, nice and crispy fries, huh? Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. You gotta like move all your fries to like get to the... <laughs> It does not look appetizing. It does not, but it tastes good. <laughs> Chicago style hot dogs are so weird. Look at that like bright green relish. Mm. I really wish the ketchup came in more of the tub. I'm actually not a big fan of the packets. You gotta like put it on one at a time. Uh oh. I don't love that. Yep, see it already busted. Already busted. All right, so this has golden mustard, tangy pickle lily, chopped white onion, sliced kosher dill pickle, memorable, Hot sport peppers, fresh, never frozen. Michael's first time at Superdog. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Cheers. Chris. <laughs> it took me a long time to appreciate a Chicago style hot dog. What I like about Superdog, it doesn't feel like the ingredients on top, like the pickle and the relish and the onions, are like cold going onto the warm hot dog. This whole thing, because of kind of how it steams in the box, it's all warm, which I really like. But man, coming from Detroit and having conies my whole life and getting like onion and mustard and then chili, like chili sauce basically on a dog with the snap, I was like, this could never compare. But as the years have gone on, I've had a weird like craving for them as I've had more and more of them at ball games and stuff like that. So I really don't mind it. It's still so wacky to me that this is Chicago's thing. Yeah. Because I think their Polishes are like way better with like grilled onions. I mean. But, That's a lot for a, a one hot dog. Yeah. Like there's two types of pickles on here. It's kind of a wacky thing in general. I appreciate the culture of it. Mm -hmm. It is a hot dog sandwich. On my other show, Number Six with Cheese, not called Number Eight with Milkshakes. I don't know it. We talk about how a hot dog is more of a taco than a sandwich. Because mm. of the slit and the side. Okay. I think a hot dog is more of a taco. <laughs> okay, but they slice like a Jimmy John sandwich in half. They don't cut it all the way through. Is that a taco? That's a taco. Not a sandwich. <laughs> I'm excited for this first sip of Dr. Pepper, I'll tell you what. I haven't had a DP in a while. I'm usually a DDP kind of guy. Oh, me too. None of the cows and all the same flavor. Mm-hmm. That old school, like, drive-in logo and stuff is just so pretty. I will say, the hot dog itself is one of the best I've ever had. It's very good. I agree. Like, a lot of people think, like, Hot dogs are a hot dog. There's no difference, dude, there is, I'm telling oh, you. This one's like, I don't know what they do to it. It's just tastes better, it's thicker, it's got a good, it's just got a good bite to it, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Before I moved to Chicago, I hated relish. Really? I just didn't get it. I thought it was very weird. Mm -hmm. And now I like, I just dig it. I also buy dill relish mm. for sandwiches at home and I love that, okay. rather than a sweet. All right. I just smashed this though. It's so good. Mm. I can't believe I've never been here. This is delicious. You've also lived in Chicago a long time, but you don't have a car. Like mm -hmm. so many people in Chicago, you don't need one. So coming out here is kind of an endeavor. Mm -hmm. Like I would never get Super Dog unless I had a car. I'll just call you every time I need to go. Yeah, I'll just pick you up and go get you hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many people like Uber here. Just I know, I'd love to know the number on that. Like do people really come out here? Because mm -hmm. this was like a 30 minute drive from Lakeview. No. These like more well done crinkle cut fries, ketchup works on them so well. These really aren't traditional crinkle cut fries. There's something different about them. Like when you think of like the White Castle ones, mm -hmm. they're like way, they're hardly even fried. They're like kind of like doughy. Mm -hmm. These are nice and crispy and they work really well with the ketchup. What is your favorite like cut of like potato, would you say? Probably seasoned wedges. Okay. As I've gotten older, I really like a, like a meatier potato. I used to be curly fries all day. Always. Curly fries are my favorite. But as I've gotten older, like Wendy's does those seasoned potato wedges. KFC, I think, used to do them. Mm -hmm. Now they do those fries, which is so why they pivot. I love a good seasoned peppery wedge. Yeah. What about you? I love, so growing up, we had a place right down the street that I loved. They serve both curly fries and steak fries. Genius. The fact that you get two different choices yeah. blows my mind. Mm -hmm. It's great. So I grew up curlies always, but I think I'm a steak fry kind of guy right oh, now. Oh, okay. No. I hardly eat steak fries. I feel like I... I don't see them that often. No, you don't see them that often. That you know who great. used to have those? Didn't like Red Robin have those? Oh yeah. Unlimited steak fries? I used to work at Red Robin. Really? Mm -hmm. Red Robin. Yum. How was that? Great. Stole all the seasoning. <laughs> First thing out of his mouth. Great. Stole all the seasoning. You have a pallet in the back just sitting there <laughs> full of it. Okay. And you quit the next day. <laughs> don't do that at home, kids. I was about to say I stole it, but I asked if I could take one, and they said yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of like a wedge. Mm -hmm. This is a weird one. They're kind of all shaped, or if they kind of mold together. Mm -hmm. This really hits the spot, though. This is a perfect afternoon snack. You should always just have a hot dog or a corn dog available. Corn dog. Corn dogs. The beef Wellington of hot dogs. I like that tape. They really jam this box full of food. 
<laughs> These are looking pretty good for crinkle cut fries. Like, yeah. don't those just have a little more of a sass to them? <laughs> Look good, and they're salty. A lot of times in Chicago, the Chicago Sun Dog has just like sliced red tomatoes. This has this, so it's not really like a straight up tomato. I'm gonna have that. Whoa, okay. I'll try it. It's pickled. Oh, that's what it makes it better. Mmm. That's way better than a traditional tomato. Oh yeah. Wow, okay. Now I'm on board. Also doesn't have much seeds. Yeah, there's so not- it's more like a thick. No seeds and not that watery shoot into your mouth. Mm -hmm. Here's a sport pepper. These are traditional on Chicago style hot dive. That has a lot of seeds in it. It's like lined with seeds. <laughs> it's probably gonna be hot. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. And then they give you the, the pickle. I kind of let everything fall off so that I can show you guys. I'm here for it. Bright green relish, onions. What do you think about people that just eat hot dogs plain? Do they have people in their basement? In a closet? They're thinking Tied up? It. They're at least thinking about it. <laughs> They're or like a serial killer it. light. Yeah. <laughs> now, teach their own. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah, ketchup on your hot dog. I think if it's in a bun, you can't put ketchup on it. If it's outside of the bun, <laughs> then it's just meat. Yeah. So you can put ketchup on it. Right. Don't wipe your hands on your apron, chef. Jeff. I refer to everybody as Chef because it's a sign of respect. The Tina character um, calls everyone Jeff. Yeah, okay, Jeff. The funny thing is, ever like since the pandemic, we all wear masks, so not as like a rude thing to do, but I would always like, because no one could understand you, basically. Right. So I would always say Jeff to the chefs, <laughs> and they would they would repeat, like, yeah, what's up? I'm like, they don't know I'm saying Jeff. Yeah. It was kind of an inside joke for myself for a yeah. good two years. Got me through my day. <laughs> That was just a personal thing. I took that from myself. So when that happened, I was like, that's awesome. Also, I think like, like a lot of you guys, ever since that show came out, I'm calling everybody chef, and I'm saying behind and corner. Like if I'm cooking dinner with Allie, behind, corner, and she's like, shut up. And I'm like, sorry, chef. <laughs> it's clearly uh, gotten really old for her. Before, like everyone in the industry, you knew someone was in the industry because they would say behind, they would say corner, they would yep. say something like that. Yeah. Now everyone says it, so now I can't tell who <laughs> Yeah, now there's assholes like me <laughs> running around yelling behind, thank you, chef, like saying it to the train conductor. When I get off the train, I get off the L. Thank you, Chef. Like, what? <laughs> Overall, how do you think your first experience at this spot was? I loved it. It's fun, right? I wish there was one closer that I could just walk to. But I agree. Um, I'll just have to move up here then. <laughs> All right. Well, Michael will be moving. Um, Christopher, thank you again. If you guys have not watched The Bear yet, before Christopher even knew who I was, in my mind, I was preaching that show as the new thing to go watch and to be blown away by great show showrunners and actors and cinematography all of it the fact that it like so aligns with how it hectic the restaurant industry can be go watch it um i get paid zero dollars if you watch it i just think you should that's yeah. my recommendation i mean thank you for the donation there's no fly in here because we had the windows open <laughs> oh right that was awesome the venmo the cash out the paypal if you want to donate for us to eat a specific thing we can bring michael back or we can't or we don't have to but um let us know in the in the, in the caption in the in the note what you want to do and what you want to see and we'll see you guys very very soon you want some merch just let me know super dog up super dog down see you later I just had an idea too, so I want the next time I come back here, oh. I want to see like I've never been here with all the neon lit up like at night or even at dusk. I think would be awesome. We should also get one of these old time cars too. Can you do that? Yeah, we could. <laughs> yeah, we could rent one and come up here. So next time I come to Super Dog, I'm gonna get something I haven't had before, and I'm gonna do it at night mm. or bring lights or something. So anyways, cool. Oh. Sounds like a great plan. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
We got these from the uh, grab and go. So they've been sitting out for a little bit. That's a nice hefty squirt. Squirt. Don't roll it back up. Eat it now. Where are we gonna eat it? In your face. Oh, we go back to the seats. Glizzy Nation. Thank you. No snap. Bun is dried out. Four and a half. <laughs> That's a review. That's a review. <laughs> Cheers, Cubs. Honestly, not that bad. I think 4.5 is a good score. 4.5. We're at Nisei Lounge in uh, Ridleyville. We're drinking the most beer, refreshing <laughs> beer you can get. The Land of the Sky Blue Waters in the coolest can that they have, old school style. Nice hams. Never had a ham before. You're missing out. Yeah. You still thinking about that hot dog though? Cheers, Sean. Cheers. 4.5. 4.5? <laughs>